Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHot.com, and I'm doing a first impressions gameplay video for Troy Online, a 3D fantasy MMORPG published by Alt One Games. Now I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around checking this game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play Troy Online or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on MMOHot.com on the link below. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. The game itself came out into open beta on August 12, 2011, and we are going to play on the North America server, Uranus. All right. Let's go play on this world over here and it is busy let's go check this out right now click select server there is an intro i kind of want to click it but i kind of don't because i'm not sure how long it'll be but i'm going to skip that for now but any game with an intro is always worth checking out guys intros are a sign of quality right there <laughs> we'll see what the game is about right now anyway let's go ahead and log in and watch your email and your account name which i already made earlier and uh for one week only there's some discount i can be greece or troy so as the game's name kind of gave it away it's based on the troy war actually i think it's set after the first trojan war but it's going over here uh, these polythes were successfully blown. I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with, uh, the game is called Troy Online, guys. I'm gonna go with Troy. And click next over here. So they are two playable factions, and of course, they will be at war with each other. So let's see our playable classes right now. We got, uh, whoa, we got, I wanna click on this guy. We got Hunter, 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 Mystic, Mystic, and Warrior, Warrior. So there's three, uh, arch types in the game. Mystic, Warrior, and Hunter in the game. Those are the three arch types, and they each have three playable classes underneath them. I am gonna play as a warrior over here a male warrior over there so the classes are not gender locked which is good and he's got that awesome jump attack that we saw in the the, the the troy movie if you've seen that let's go ahead and go with this dude i like his shield over here i'm a warrior equipped with a shield and heavy armor and i can go with face one nope let's see how many faces i got guys i have i have a whole bunch of faces eight different faces i'm gonna go around with this one he's rugged over there and i'll go with my default with my equipment i can change that let's go nope i it totally lined me why is this even here i can't change it but i'm gonna go with uh i'm gonna go with black hair i like black hair and my name will be Remote if it's available, and it probably won't be, and it's already taken. So I'm going to put two Ys over there and click Create. So there we go. And my helmet got all gimpy, and my shield got all, all awful too right now. So let's click Connect over here and see my character, and my awesome little swing over there. I am in the Forgotten Beach. We're going to start a story. It's a story of gods. So Forgotten Beach, here we are. We got some big turtles on the Forgotten Beach, guys. The Forgotten Beach is littered with huge turtles, apparently. So there's your shortcut keys over here on the keyboard if you want to know how to play. But you know what? We're going to be a boss and just close it out and figure it out on our own. So there's my dude over here right now just starting off over here on the beach. And we're going to start slaying some turtles, guys, like a real champion. So let's kill these demonic turtles. So guys, uh, Troy has lots of uh, demonic turtles on it, apparently. So they look kind of cool anyway. So how do we attack this guy? Click one over there. No. Nope. I want to attack my demon. Is it already dead? It's a dead demonic turtle. Let's go find a real life one and kill that one over there. And we can just right click on it, I suspect. Yep, and you can start fighting it right away. I only do six damage. Come on. Only six damage? Only does one to me, so it should be easy enough. The game, uh, I think it's going to be pretty PvP heavy later on because it's going to be, you know, Greece versus uh, Troy. And let's go kill these guys right now. If you're a fan of the, I guess, the alternate history of the game is, uh, I'm sure it's alternate history. If you're a fan of the whole Troy and Greek wars, you know, you might like the game, the, the setting at least. Let's go fight some more of these demonic turtles. Where do we, you know what, I'm going to get my quest over there, guys. There's an exclamation mark over there. I'm going to do it. Me and Kayuza and Diazi, it's like Daisy, but spelled Diazi, I don't know. And we're going to talk to this guy who is sitting down on a, on a stump. Is that a stump over there? Why is there a stump like in the desert? Did he like move it over there? I don't know. But let's go talk to you anyway. So we got Tecton. Hey, you've been unconscious all morning. All right. Now you're awake. Pretty generic uh, opening. You know, you've been unconscious. You wake up on the beach. Very common like cliche setting over there. And um, something nearly broke his back carrying you here. Look at you. You probably lift a whole boulder. All right. I'm a strong dude. I can see how strong you are. You can't fool me. Young people these days, guys. Young people these days. So strong. So don't act stupid. Uh, can't you see what's going on around here? You were stranded. You speak fine though, so I guess your head is okay. Go me. So the game's English translations are actually quite good. I mean, I see no problems with the, the localizations right now. I'm not sure if the game was developed in uh, in Asia though. So now you're here, I can give you, get rid of these damn tortoises. All right, these are pretty demonic turtles over here. And I click accept over there. I gotta kill three turtles, easy enough. At least it's not like kill 15 turtles or 30 turtles. A lot of games give you quests where you gotta kill just a whole bunch of these things. So what are you, what are you waiting around for? Go kill some turtles. All right, you know what? I'll go kill some turtles for you guys. There's, uh, I'm not sure when I get to pick my actual class. I know there's uh, three arch types we saw earlier in the character creation screen, but those aren't it. There's actually nine total playable classes. The game's website clearly outlines. So there's a good variety of classes in the game. Not sure again when we can first specialize. I can switch weapons if I want to, but I'm, you can set your secondary weapon, which I think is kind of cool. But I'm using my sword and shield right now, so I take no damage. So I want to get like a two-hander so I can do more damage. So you can complete these quests a bit faster, because these guys do no damage to me. At least the Mario Turtles level two. Wasn't the last one level one? I'm not sure, but we'll see in a second. So you do get experience fairly quickly early on, but again, it's early on. I'm only level one. So let's kill these demonic turtles over here. I gotta kill two more of these guys for my quest. And whoa, can I clap? I wanna clap. I wanna applaud, guys. Can I applaud while fighting the turtle? Can I applaud while fighting? No, I can't. I can't clap and fight the turtle at the same time, unfortunately. But we will check 
check out the applaud animations in a second. So let's go do my champion strike, guys. I'm a ch oh, 21 damage, not bad. And the cooldown is super, super low. Let's take any like mana or yeah, 10 mana points over there. But I have a lot of mana apparently, so it's not gonna be running out. And this guy's gonna drop a health potion level one. It recovers your HP by up up to 500. So up to is it like less than that maybe? Obtain all. Let's go take all that good stuff over there and kill some more demonic turtles. They do die fairly quickly when you actually mash your skills over there. And there's a hot keeper pickup called three, which I guess should loot automatically. Or you can sit down with four over there. I'm gonna see if uh, this pickup button picks up all the loot automatically, or do I still need to like click obtain all? We shall see in a second. Always mash your keys. Oh, let's click three. Nope, yep, right away. That's right there for you. So I killed three demonic turtles, and we are good to go. My mon experience is 150, my quest experience is 100, my war experience is 100%. Not sure what that is, but my monster experience, I guess, is I gain more by killing monsters than war experience. So war experience might be PvP in the game. But let's go talk to this guy again, Tekton. Uh, you're, you're a lot more helpful than you look. Go me. Do I look not helpful to you, man? Huh? Talk smack about me? Uh, the modern turtles are threatening to... The the turtles are apparently threatening the survivors uh, over here. Not sure how they're threatening anybody because they're not really aggroing you, but you know what? They are threatening anyway. So you get some draw, which I guess is the game's currency, and click complete. Uh, retrieve shipwreck, shipwreck items over here. I have no idea what's going on here, blah, 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 and click this over there. I do like the fact that the game isn't just a generic fantasy setting. It's going it's going with the whole Troy backstory, the, the setting for the game, which I guess is right away makes the game a bit different than any other just generic fantasy setting game where it's just, you know, swords and sorcery. Are you a survivor as well? Well, it's still got the swords and sorcery, but it's mixed in with, the, I guess, alternative history, which I guess is kind of cool. So retrieve ship shipwreck items over there. Kill more demonic turtles. All right, guys. My first quest was to kill demonic turtles, and now I got to kill more demonic turtles. Looking for shipwreck items. So I'm not sure why I wasn't looking for those shipwreck items, like, earlier. The guy was being a total jerk to me by not telling me that, hey, by the way, the demonic turtles are carrying items you're going to need for my next quest, but... He didn't tell me, what a jerk. Let's go kill more. This guy's level one. He's a weak demonic turtle. So we're gonna, we're gonna kill this guy real quick and then hopefully he's gonna drop his items. So we're gonna click three and did I get what I needed? Nope. So it doesn't drop it every single time. I hate those kind of quests, they're so annoying. Cause you can kill like, like 20 of your quest monsters and it doesn't drop the item you're looking for. It's just, it's just really annoying sometimes. But most of the time it's not that crazy. So did I get something? Nope, still gotta kill more demonic turtles and bring shipwreck items to that dude. So what shipwreck items? I don't know, but just shipwreck items. So there are plenty of shipwreck items over here anyway. And look how ugly that water looks. I mean, the game's graphics aren't bad, but the water is just looks awful. Like whoever designed this water, guys, that is not water. It's just, just blurry nonsense over there. And I'm running the game on 1920 by 1080 as well, so it should look a lot better. Even this wood, guys, look at that like really poorly done wood over there. That is like the worst wood I've ever seen. Look at that nonsense. But your actual character graphics, your animations look really well done. And you can see your character kind of moving around as he chillaxes too. Look at Loot, loot that guy over there too and I got one shipwreck item I gotta kill a few more of these demonic turtles hopefully I want to check out the town as well so I'm on the forgotten beach right now interface wise the game does look quite nice over here I mean very you know sleek easy to use let's go check out my inventory over here my potions I'm gonna put this on my hockey bar even though I'm not even getting weak oh can I click on it why can't I move this oh there you oh, dropping it over there and I'm gonna put it on number four. Oh, why am I failing to put it on my hockey bar apparently I can't put it there can I put it up here no, why can't I put this on my hockey bar? Uh, maybe I'm just failing or something. Uh, nope, it's still not working. So you know what? I'm going to forget about that for now and kill a few more demonic turtles. Need to kill a few more to get my shipwreck items, and then I'm going to forget about that. Check out my K menu. K is always your skill menu, guys. And I'm already level 3, and we get, uh, I only have, I have 2 points left, so you get 2 points per, uh, 1 point per level, looks like. And these are your talent points, it looks like. So I can get champion strike or staggering bash. So do I learn skills over here or do I just improve them? So I think I have to learn the skills actually through this menu and you can level up your individual skills as well. So it looks like you only get one point per level. So it looks like you can't actually learn every skill in the game, which is kind of cool. Uh, these are, level, are these all level one? So yeah, you can learn almost everything over here. So it's not like there's like a really high you know, level requirement for these later ones, but I gotta learn something else first. So I'm gonna put a point, I wanna get this. Oh, can I get that right now? Nope, I can't click on that right now apparently. I'm gonna get some staggering bash over there, might as well. And let's go equip it. Put it down on my number uh, number five slot. I'm gonna switch it with that one, there you go. So now I got two activatable skills, two and three guys. Three, there you go. It does more damage than my number two attack actually, let's see. So it does, uh, and it does reduce target's damage by 2%, which is like a debuff. Uh, uh, don't want to sit down, I want to loot, click 5 over there, and yes, I am still not down over there. Man, these guys are not dropping my item. So let's see, I have one other point to do, what is action? I can't even go there, I guess action would be like clapping or something, so it's useful stuff anyway, most likely. I want to get this skill, why can't I get this? It's level 1, and it requires uh, a character level 10, there you go, so you actually do have to be higher level for these. So we got uh, level 10 over there too, and level 30 for that last one down over there. Knee slice. So I'm gonna kill this, uh, I already killed it, I'm gonna loot it. Come on, drop my ship part. Nope, keep clicking four instead of five. There we go, I got my shipwreck parts, and hopefully I can leave this forgotten beach. We can forget about this beach and leave it. But we'll see, what is that over there? Plane of emptiness, guys. We got forgotten beach and a plane of emptiness. 
So let's talk to this dude. I'm actually the only one here right now. There's a few other guys grinding earlier, but right now I am the only one here. You can see all the monsters on this little radar too, but you can you, no, you can't move by clicking on the radar. Let's go talk to Tecton over here. Most of these supplies, blah blah blah. The old man shakes his head in disarray. Alright. There are many things in this world you cannot comp we do not comprehend yet. Blah blah blah. Click complete over there too. What do you have next for me, man? What do you have next? Complete. There you go. Go me. And I got more quests from the same dude right now. I swear, if you get to be killing more turtles again, guys. More turtles, let's see. I was looking for you. I was looking for you. I was just talking to you. How could you be looking for me? I saw some smoke rising from that side. Alright, I get to go somewhere. Let's go together, guys. Me and nope. He wants to chillax here, wait for other newbies to give quests to. No, I think I should stay behind and look for other survivors. So at least it kind of makes sense, like when new players log into the game, they show up here, and this guy's waiting for them. I guess it makes kind of sense. Uh, man named Helsius, I can't say these names at all, went that way, guys. We're going that way right now. My favorite way is that way. So uh, he's got another quest for me, too. Welcome to Ingredients. I got, he got two more quests for me. Wow. Young one, you keep growling sounds in your stomach, blah, blah. I don't think it's from my stomach. Uh, hurry up, man. I want to get my quest. There you go. Get another one. I want to grab all this guy's quest real quick, and then I'll leave you alone. Kill uh, some Carcano spawns in the game. Oh, come on. Hurry up. Are we good to go? You know what? I'm done with you. Let's go. We're going to go that way right now, which I guess we're, we're going to Carcano spawn. So it tells you right away where the monsters are in the game. You got Demonic Turtles over here, and they're level 1 to 2, and you got these spawns level 3. So the map itself is actually really helpful. I am on the Altis continent on the Forgotten Beach. So there are, if this is really all the only areas in the game, there really aren't that many. So we got, uh, maybe this, all this whole area is a Forgotten Beach, so it's actually a really large area. So close it out for now, and let's go kill a few of these uh, Carcano spawns. They look kind of ugly too. Nope, they're already dead, that one. So yes, these guys, we got J-Man 17, guys. J-Man 17, this cool cat, and Kid Dream. So we go kill uh, Carcano spawns with my two and three attacks. So again, I'm not sure when I get to choose my first class, but again, there is some decent class variety in the game. And I do like the fact that the game isn't just another generic, you know, just swords and sorcery fantasy game. You got the whole uh, Troy backstory behind it. I know there's NPCs in the game that fit the whole, like, Troy story as well. There's Achilles in the game too. And uh, I actually, you know, Achilles, the guy with the, the, his heel is weak apparently, and that's because he was dipped as a, as a child into the River of Sticks, and he was being held on his ankle, which is why he was, uh, he's weak over there on his heel. Let's go kill our uh, Carcano spawns. How many of these do I have to kill? I gotta get some meat from them. Uh, tender crayfish meat noob. Uh, report the, I already, I already finished this quest again. Talk to Heldesius. But you know what? Let's go click five over there. Loot that good stuff. I'm gonna go, let's go this way, guys. We're going to the Plane of Emptiness. I don't want to go all the way back there. What is, what's that one over there? I'm not sure what that little dot over there is. We're going to go into the Plane of Emptiness, and it takes you there by teleporter, because we all know, back in the day, guys, there was teleporters that took you places back in the good old days. Plane of Emptiness. T Travelers should cross the plane, all right? I'm not going to read that because I'm not going to have enough time. And we are in the Plane of Emptiness. We got the Priest of Gaia called Karna over there. But there are players in the game, which is worth mentioning. And the early early areas seem pretty crowded too, which is always good. I like to see players in my, you know, when I'm playing a game anyway. And these wild boars are huge too. This guy's as big as I am. But let's see, where am I going next? Wow, it tells you exactly what level the monsters are too. So again, these are all places I probably shouldn't be quite yet because they're all way higher level. So where am I? I'm already, I'm all the way. Actually, you know what? There's only five to six monsters in level seven, so I should be all right. But again, you, you can very easily see where the monsters are for quests. And just what kind of monsters you can expect in different areas. So I'm not in a town yet. My first town is over here, it looks like. But I can't quite get... Maybe this... Nope, there's, boss, there's monsters over there. And we got a little tent area over here. So we can talk to some NPCs over there. I do have a quest around here somewhere, I think. I mean, uh, welcome ingredients is going to be... It should be marked on the map with this star, maybe, or something. I'm not even sure. Let's go talk to this. There you go. Here, you know, first... A small first step. Let's go talk to you. And you look like another survivor. Good to see you all right. And click complete. I'm not sure when the PvP begins either, but uh, that should be pretty fun, hopefully. And there's actually multiple PvP modes. I think there's only one right now because the game just launched as I'm doing this video. But they'll add more later. The game is published by Alt1 Games. I'm not sure if I said that, but I think this is their first MMORPG they released. Not sure what else they're working on, though. And again, not sure what this over here is. I think you get more experience for killing monsters than quests. And... Uh, 100% from war experience and war experience I think is PvP ask Abbas how to get to the city He's an odd old man who should know Let's talk to the odd old man and am I level 5 yet? Nope I am good with you. I don't want to talk to you anymore. You are not cool anymore. I gotta talk to this that guy's green Nope, let's talk to this guy. He's got a little like manure on his head or something I don't know to talk to this dude and Abbas haha -ha, good day. My name is Abbas and I'm a merchant He's not that old man. Why are you making fun of him? So let's see complete over there too and I am level 5 now and Peddler Abbas wants me to do something. He's looking to go to the city. Well, actually, I'm looking to go to the city. I'm a merchant to the core, guys. To the core. I had to go around asking questions, blah, blah, blah. And let's keep doing this for now. Click, click, click. And what's the favor? It's not a big deal. Just go kill some dude for me. No, that's not what he said. But let's see. He wants me to kill some wild boars and get their meats for him. And let's go do that right now. 
And we are gonna go kill some boars over here. They are yellow to me, so they guess it means they're my same level. So yellow cons means they're your same level, it looks like. And let's click two and mash my three keys. But you can really mash your abilities because they have such low cooldowns, it looks like. And I'm gonna put a can I put another point over here and no, I can't tell level six. So where else can I put a point? Iron skin. Temporarily increase your defense, so it's actually just a buff. I might as well get it because I mean I still have three skill points left, so I'm good to go. I'll put one point over there. Why is it not letting me? It is not letting me put it there. Maybe I can't do it in combat, but we'll see after I kill this boar. I want to max this out. I want to put a point here too. I might as well. One-handed weapon damage increased by three. I want two-handed weapons, guys. Where are my two-handed weapons? I'm gonna click the plus over here and let's click on this over here. And endurance. I might as well do this. Increase defense by 7%. Not bad for a passive. I mean, let's see. I got sword training. Let's go equip my iron skin over here. And swap it out with this one so I can cast my buff. Wah bam, there you go. Pretty long cooldown though, but again, it should probably last. I mean, it'll cool down before the full 10 minutes are up anyway. So it's basically like a perma buff anyway. So what is this? MNL. What is this? Left click, right click or something? What? I'm not even sure what the, these two hockeys over here are. But you know what? We're gonna try to look at our emotes in a second because I want to see what the clap looks like. Is there a slash dance? They better be a slash dance, guys. It seems like almost every MMORPG does have their own little dance animations. Do I have character info screen? Do I have stat points? Nope. But you can see the little porch over here moving around if he wants to. Max HP, my defense is 32. I'm not sure why it's in purple, but you know what? It is in purple. I guess it's because I have a buff on, so that's why it's in purple. So let's go do my clap, my greet. So click on that. There you go. Wave up. Oh, I want to see my face while I do it. We can click on it over there, and there you go, just waving. We can do an applaud, and click, click. There you go. My sword just instantly goes behind me, and we got laugh. Ha ah, ha ha. That's too funny. And we got cry. There you go. Wow, he's crying like a pansy. Let's, who does that? Like That's way too animated. But you know what? Let's go loot this boar over here because I need your meat. Up oh, there you go. I need, he didn't drop any meat? What kind of boar doesn't drop any meat? I love how games do that. Like you kill, Some monsters drop the quest items, other ones don't. It doesn't make any sense because all wild boars should have wild boar meat on them. Like It shouldn't be only be like half of them. It makes no kind of sense, but it's something a lot of MMORPGs do anyway. Let's see. I'm going to kill you and close that. What, 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 what is this? This yellow, this teal thing over here. Not sure what it is, but you can have two weapons equipped at once. I got beginner's mace and a gladius. Is the mace two-handed? Uh, it does not look like you can. You cannot add sockets to this item. So some items, guys, have sockets apparently. And attack speed 24, three to five damage. This only this does four to four. Uh, four to four is better than three to five. Well, it should average out to be the same thing anyway, so it shouldn't really matter. Let's see, close that for now, and let's see what else is going on in the game's interface. Oh, there's my potions over there in the bottom left over there. R and T are my potion items over there. No need to click on them for now, and I'm going to click 2 and 3 again. So let's take a look at our menu over here. We got Battlefield, which I guess the PvP areas in the game. I'm pretty sure I can't do that right now, though. And these boars have a ton of HP. I got to actually use my abilities. 2 and 3. I actually have no mana. Let's go click uh, T for my mana potion. Bam, it's a full mana over there for me. And let's go to Battlefield. I want to see if I can go into Battlefield right now. You can see a world map as well. What? This is not the world map. This is my area map. Click close that out for now. And let's see Battlefield. Can I go there right now? And it doesn't even work. It doesn't even click on Battlefield. So I can't do that right now. My profile over there, we saw that earlier. And we got character info. Oh, I got points. There we go. The game should have told me this earlier. I'm going to put all my points into strength, it looks like. Plus, 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 plus. So you do get points every level. I think it was only one or two points per level because it went really quickly. And click apply. So I think very few newer games give you like stat points. I feel like that's like an old thing, I guess. I don't know why. Most games just let you know do your stats automatically. So my elemental resistance are down here as well. Melee, missile, magic. Uh, I don't need that nonsense. My resistances. And my class is warrior. I'm, again, I did see on the website there, there's three kinds of warriors, three kinds of mystics, and three kinds of hunters too. So there are nine playable classes. Again, not sure when you get your actual new class though. But guys, I am. Uh, this is already almost 20 minutes for now, so I am going to call it for now. Uh, I do like the game's backstory. It's a little bit different than all the other fancy MRPGs out there. Not sure how the PvP is going to be though, but if the PvP is fun, the game could be fun anyway. And there's a floating rock in the sky over there, guys. That is floating. Let me see if that's actually floating. Let's go near it. And there's more floating rocks over there. There's a lot of floating rocks in this world. But anyway, guys, if you guys do want to play uh, Troy Online or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on mhot.com on link below. Anyway, guys, later. And I can't jump. Spacebar doesn't do anything. I just realized that. I usually love jumping in MMORPGs, but I can't jump. Oh, no. Is it maybe another jump on? Uh, nope. F1. What does F1 do? Nearest target. F2 is switch weapons. There you go. Look at me switching those weapons. Anyway, guys, later.